The first piece I'm going to read is when Robert and I, the period Robert and I lived at the Chelsea Hotel. And our room was so tiny uh, that we couldn't do our work. So we, we saved our money and got a small space. And um, we were just ready to move into it. And this little piece tells of the night where um, we went to visit our, our new space for the first time. It was snowing and it was the end of the 60s. It snowed on Christmas night. Robert and I walked to Times Square to see the white billboard proclaiming, war is over if you want it. Happy Christmas from John and Yoko. It hung above the bookstall where Robert bought most of his men's magazines. Looking up, we were struck by the ingenuous humanity of this New York City tableau. Robert took my hand and as the snow swirled around us, I glanced at his face. He narrowed his eyes and nodded in affirmation, impressed to see artists taking on 42nd Street. For me, it was the message for Robert, the medium. Newly inspired, we walked back to 23rd Street to look at our new space. We stood at the window and we looked out at the snow falling beyond the fluorescent oasis sign with its squiggly palm trees. That's because it was over, um, it was over a bar called the Oasis. Look, he said, it's snowing in the desert. I thought about a scene in Howard Hawke's movie Scarface where Paul Muni and his girl are looking out the window at a neon sign that said, the world is yours. Robert squeezed my hand. The 60s were coming to an end. Robert and I celebrated our birthdays. Robert turned 23. Then I turned 23, the perfect prime number. Robert made me a tie rack with the image of the Virgin Mary. I gave him seven silver skulls on a length of leather. He wore the skulls. I wore a tie. We felt ready for the 70s. It's our decade, he said. <laughs>